Now, people travel miles to go on whale and dolphin spotting holidays. But did you realise that you can, if you're lucky, see these marine mammals much closer to home? Porpoises are the most common on the east coast, but also dolphins further out at sea and even some whales. Well, Robin Petch is from Sea-Watch, which monitors sightings in our area, and he's with us in the studio tonight. Robin, good evening. Good evening. What chance have we got of seeing a dolphin or a porpoise off our coast? There's a pretty good chance of seeing a porpoise. Dolphins are, are less common in this part of the world, but if you go to somewhere like Flamborough Head or Spurn Point, or even just watch out in the Humber, you've got a pretty good chance of seeing porpoises if you're looking hard even enough. Even in the Humber? Oh, in the Humber, right up to Ghoul even. Do they live here or are they just visitors? Yeah, the porpoises are actually resident around here. They tend to move in and offshore and move up and down looking for food, but they are around the coast all of the time. Uh, dolphins are, are sort of more occasional visitors, like the, the Gainsborough dolphin, which appeared in uh, 19, about 1995, 6, I think it was, swam up the River Trent. Whales very much in the news. We've got some mm. pictures here from a few years ago at South Ferriby. This is mm. a, a minky whale. How did yeah. that end up up the Humber? Took a wrong turning, probably. Got confused by the traffic near the mouth. The minke whales are actually the, the most common baleen whale in the North Sea, so there are quite a lot of minke whales out there. This, unfortunately, is, is the he whale lost, that's hunted. He? he basically got lost. Um, the, the Humber is, is too shallow, there's no food for him, and he unfortunately beached on, on this sandbank. Didn't survive? He, he, he was refloated initially, but then unfortunately died again, um, got stuck on another sandbank and, and died a few days later. And we had the, the unfortunate task of going to, to measure the, the body at Brough when it was brought to So ashore. is this happening more and more often, and why? It's difficult to say that it's happening more and more often. Th there have always been strandings around the coast, and th there's all sorts of different reasons for it. Sometimes it's just shortage of food. Old, sick animals have to, to go somewhere. Not to do with somewhere. temperature? Not particularly temperature at the moment, but that is a long-term problem for the food supply. The temperature doesn't have so much of a direct effect, but it's, that is affecting food supplies for them. Basically, there's more in the Humber than we thought, isn't there? There's more in the Humber than we thought, certainly porpoises. Very good to see you. Thank you very much, Steve, for coming in, Robin. You're welcome. Thank you. And I would just uh, tell you as well that uh, Sea Watch would love to hear from you if you spotted a whale or a dolphin further out at sea. They've set up a new monitoring programme and there is a website uh, where you can go and tell them what you've seen. There is the address if you want to go to uh, that one.